going? So welcome back to another episode of What I Eat in a Week, episode three. And I want to start off by saying happy MLK Day, guys. It is our day off. So Babe is actually home right now with me. Obviously, you guys saw in the workout, he was working out alongside with me, helping me out. So um, I did actually show you guys today in this video my weight. So prior before starting this, I, the last known weight that I was was 174 pounds. I was kind of fluctuating between like 170, 174, and 172. There was at one point I was back down uh, in the 160s, like 169, but I was always bouncing back between 174 and 171. Um, but I weighed myself today and I'm 168 pounds so keto is clearly working and I'm on week three so um, my my first goal weight well I didn't really have a goal weight but when I first started keto the first time around my end weight after my first round of keto was 165 pounds and that was the weight I started at when I went into my surgery so I'm almost back to the first goal weight that I was at um, like last year so I will be 165 pounds soon crossing my fingers so right now I'm 168 pounds I'm only three pounds away from for my uh, beginning weight so that's super exciting I actually kind of decided to make a goal weight so I think my goal weight will be 160 and that would be the cutoff point where I start modifying keto so I will let you guys know when that happens so the workout today was great I think we're gonna do some more later but I have a lot of studying to do so I don't know if that's gonna happen but I will show you guys every workout I do this week just to kind of give you guys some more ideas on keto diet exercise the whole lifestyle combined together so for today's meal, we're going to have a quick meal, guys. We're going to do a turkey bacon wrap, and then we're going to try the Quest nacho chips on the side. It'll be my first time trying them, so I'll try them in front of you guys so you guys get my view of those chips. A lot. Some people say it tastes like air. Some people say it tastes like dust. I'll let you guys know what I think. So, guys, okay, so we're going to keep it real simple. So I do have my wraps just on low, just sitting in this pan, just to get them kind of warm. So when it's time for me to wrap it, it's all ready to go. So we have our turkey bacon right here. We got some lettuce. Um, I'm making my boyfriend one, obviously. So we have the Sausalito turkey, guys. Highly recommend from Boar's Head. It is a bit pricey, but this is the best flavorful turkey that you'll get, Sausalito turkey. A little salt and pepper to make it more like an Italian type of like wrap or sub or whatever. Imagination. And we got some mayo for it. I'm also gonna do a little bit of avocado spread and we good to go. try the quest chips they're like nacho cheese so all right so for me this almost tastes like a pringles um it's like really gritty at the same time too so they probably use some type of almond flour some type of gritty flour to make these mm. they're not bad I have some uh, avocado. I'm just gonna put some avocado on and see what it tastes like with avocado like dip. Mmm. It's alright. But the wrap, it's good. The chips are alright.
guys, so we are going to be doing some chicken and broccoli and add some shrimp in there as well. So I did go ahead and pre-season some chicken breast that I sliced up and everything. You guys can see that in here, nice and seasoned. So this is about like two pounds, so it should last a pretty long time. Now I'm gonna do some chicken and I'm also going to do some shrimp, which I do have to season, which is in this bag right here. So we're gonna do chicken and shrimp and then we're going to also do broccoli, which I did show you guys. I put salt and pepper and olive oil. I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna combine everything in together with soy sauce, sesame oil to make it kind of like Asian inspired, but just no rice. So shrimp, chicken, broccoli, no rice. That's what we're gonna make tonight, guys. So just follow along.
All right, guys, so we are back today, and today is Taco Tuesdays. Um, Taco Tuesdays, Taco Tuesday. So um, today, this is the aesthetics I was giving you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the intro of Mon of Tuesday. Hope you guys like the intro of Monday as well. Um, I couldn't actually like vocally film the part making the chaffles because we did have some people out here making a little bit of noise fixing the building. So I decided just to do it uh, straight through and then come and talk to you guys. So as far as the chaffle mix, guys, I followed my uh, almond flour pack um, measurements. So a fourth of a cup. Well, a fourth of a cup. A quarter cup was um, three net carbs. So I used a quarter cup, cheese, one egg, and almond milk, and just kind of kept it at a nice consistency. And then I made the chaffles. Now, with mine, I also showed you guys that I added complete seasoning. Now, I showed you guys the back of complete seasoning because I was looking at some seasoning the other day. You have to look at if it has sugars in it and stuff like that. This does not, and this has no carbs. So I used this as kind of like the savory part to wrap the cheese and everything together to make it real savory to go with the. Um, the bacon sausage avocado so I like that component now I'm gonna try it this is the first time I'm testing it out guys so I'm crossing my fingers it's good I feel like the recipe it looks good it's pretty solid so I'm, I hope that um, it came out pretty good so we're gonna test out my bacon and cheese and my boyfriend have the sausage and he'll let me know later if it was good um, another thing I want to do is today's Taco Tuesday, so I'm going to actually do Taco Tuesdays today, make tacos. Now, I did, uh, last week's video, I did feature a product that I actually got sent a PR package this week from the company, so um, thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some very keto-friendly items that you guys have already seen, but I'm going to show you guys more in depth of what it is, and we're going to make tacos with that tonight, guys. So, um... I actually have a really busy day. I have finals tonight, so I'm actually really blessed that I was able to get this filmed and in this portion of the video. This will be my bulk meal, my finals at 6 p.m. I will take with me like a little protein pack with me, and then I'll come home and do the Taco Tuesdays, which I'm super excited about. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what it do. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and try the bacon, egg, and cheese, which is the one, well, the bacon, egg, and avocado which is the one that I wanted so this is so this is what it looks like guys I'm just gonna pull it up to show you guys very nice and packed um, super excited oh my god mm -hmm. mm. sorry you guys can hear them in the background I'm still up here making noise sorry very very good the chaffle is a little bit airy which I like, I didn't want it to be too dry. Now my issue with um, almond flour is I feel like it's kind of gritty sometimes, but this one is not bad. I would say to you guys, use the measurements on the bag and add more cheese so that it doesn't give you that gritty taste. So that's one thing I like. And also to avoid the gritty taste, you can also add more milk, almond milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm probably looking like a slob right now, guys, so I'm I'm sorry, but let me show you guys close up. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Now, another thing I want to say, with a quarter cup that I use with the almond flour and cheese, it was I was able to make about three. So I would say if you want to stretch it to four, add more cheese in it and add like maybe I would say two eggs versus one. Should really give you like a doughy egg, but because I was already already putting eggs into my sandwich. I feel like two uh, egg, one egg was enough for the chaffle. So yeah. Mm. Really good guys, and really fun. You don't have very long to What is your verdict? Find the defendant guilty. The deadly narcotic. Hey to the devil for the jury. You've got to get a hold of yourself.
tonight we're having spicy chicken tacos for dinner so I've already put in my uh, sandwich thins in the oven to kind of preheat and kind of get crispy so I did get a package sent from Outer Isles if you guys watched last week's what I eat in a week I did feature their product which I purchased from Whole Foods in the freezer section I used their um, pizza crust their Italian pizza crust to make a pizza brunch so if you didn't watch that video I'll put it in the cards for you guys so they did go ahead and send me a PR package so they sent me some of their sandwich thins so I'll show you guys what they look like on the side screen up close it's um, a nice size guys now the best part about this one it's only one net carb per actual slice so I ended up making uh, I think three tacos I originally was gonna make two but that open I was like okay it's gonna fold into like a nice kind of like uh, you know like a little to mini taco size so I can make three but honestly three net carbs only for three of them is not bad you can go ahead and stuff it with your favorite proteins or whatever and it's still gonna be real keto so they sent me the Italian flavor which I tried last week I put the jalapeno flavor in the oven it's my first time trying that I'm super excited I use the jalapeno flavor obviously to go with the spicy chicken tacos theme I know so corny um, they also sent me two packs of the original I seen people doing recipes on the original they've done like uh, crepes and stuff like that the company actually did send me this little thing right here so they actually did send me some ingredients um not ingredients some recipes and stuff and they also send you like little uh, nutritional packet forms and stuff when you order from them anyway so you get all the info they'll give you some recipe guys but I did see someone do crepes as a uh, crepes as an option with the original the original just doesn't have a flavor base guys so um, you could just do anything with that one honestly so like I said they have like okay outer owl pancakes so you can make pancakes with the original ones and they have just a whole bunch of recipe ideas right here so it's a really really cool different thing so thank you outer owls for sending me the package I appreciate it and let's just get along with it you don't have very long time. what is your verdict I'm the defendant guilty the deadly narcotic Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you've got to get a hold of yourself. Hope you guys like the nice close-up. It looks really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and try it so then I can get off here. So, let's go. Mmm. I don't really taste the jalapeno. You taste the jalapeno, babe? Yeah. No. But... It's a taco. Tastes good. But you guys can see, it's a perfect size, portion-wise, and it's only one net carb, so it's a win-win, guys. I actually added some green onions, too. The green onions make it pop, like, extra hard. I'm mean, actually asked to put some extra. All in all, guys, it's an A+. Happy Taco Tuesdays. Guys, so today is a Wednesday so happy hump day to everyone so for today we're gonna do the Western scramble with hot dogs to start off I am breaking fast right now so I'm a little hungry so I before I go ahead and start the Western scramble I want to show you guys some products that I just got in the mail like just now so if you guys have watched my old keto videos before I've ordered from the great low-carb bread company before so I decided to pick out three new items that they just posted well one of them has been on there but I I never fancied it too much but since I was ordering stuff I just said I'm just order all of it so um, they do have two new items that they've added to their collection which I'm super excited about so I'm going to actually uh, prep this recipe for tomorrow tonight so you guys will actually see how I do this so the first thing that they did just come out with is pasta rice orzo 
So for tomorrow's recipe, I'm going to make a chicken orzo soup. Mm. Crossing my fingers, this comes out knocking. So I'm going to make a chicken orzo soup. I'll bring it up close so you guys can see the packaging and the noodles itself. They actually look like actual orzo rice, guys, so it's crazy. Now, to make sure that this is cooked all the way through, because one thing about these noodles, you have to make sure it's cooked all the way through. I'm going to crock pot this chicken noodle soup so everything will cook together and it should be nice and orzo, you know, similar to like a nice orzo noodle. So I'm crossing my fingers that the crock pot will do the deed and that the whole entire soup will just be really, really realistic to regular soup. So I'm excited about that. The bag is about seven net carbs for the entire bag, which is not bad at all. And it does have 18 grams of protein. So for the recipe, I've seen a few recipes, so I'm going to try to just take a few ideas and just create my own. But um, I'm going to add more chicken to the meal just so that it could um, make the food a little bit more. Because you can't really use that many vegetables, but I'll show you guys a trick that I'll do when that part comes up later. So the next one I got is a real teeny. I've never tried the real teeny, but I was thinking about making like pasta salad. So the real teeny would be really nice for a pasta salad or tuna pasta salad. My boyfriend would really like that. So if you think that's a good idea, thumbs it up or let me know with a little, you know, wink or something or tell me that the tuna rotini would be good. So I'll try that. Um, and then I've tried fettuccine before, but they've just come out with the spaghetti and it's it looks really good, guys. So I was thinking about making a, a, like a chicken parmesan with spaghetti. So let me know if you guys like that idea as well. Thumbs that up. I'm so freaking clumsy today. So I'm really excited about this. And then I also got the elbows, which I've always had. The, I've always done the elbows before. So I'm going to just do this. I usually like to do um, one cup of these and a head of uh, cauliflower to make like a bigger pan. And this just fills it together to kind of complete the macaroni. If you want to do it that way, you can do it that way. You can just do the cauliflower by itself. But if you want it to be more of a filled type of mac and cheese, do one cup of this and then a whole head of cauliflower and then you're good to go. So guys, that's enough flapping of the gums. Let's get the scramble together. Alright guys, so it is din din time. So we are making a fancy Caesar salad. So this is the first time and this is episode three, uh, week three that I'm making a salad for the first time. I know people run to salads 
when they're on keto because they think that's the easiest thing to make. I tend not to go for it because I feel like it's boring, but I'm gonna make a fancy Caesar salad, so maybe you guys will enjoy this and kind of get creative when you're making your salads. So I do have some bo uh, water boiling because I'm gonna put um, eggs in the salad. I'm gonna make it really nice and fancy. Now, remember the chicken that I prepped on uh, Sunday? That chicken we still have it, so I'm gonna do grilled chicken Caesar salad. So we're gonna put some grilled chicken on the salad, and then the rest of the chicken that's left, we're gonna add that into our chicken orzo soup that I'm gonna show you guys when I prep it tonight. So we're gonna use some of this for uh, the salads and I'm gonna air fry it. I'll show you guys how I air fry it and everything and then we'll save the remainder when I do the meal prep uh, while the prep for the orzo soup tonight so it's gonna be real quick I'll show you guys what it looks like and like I said your salads don't have to be super boring you can make it fancy and really delicious at the same time so let's go people so we are getting our prep ready for the chicken orzo soup so I'm not gonna put the noodles in tonight I actually changed my mind so what I'm going to do is do the chicken with the seasoning I did pick up this uh, Uncle Vinny's uh, poultry mix it was a herb seasoning pack so I'm gonna probably use half of it I don't think I'm gonna use the whole thing I'm probably gonna use half of it and I'm gonna use some minced garlic some complete seasoning two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to use a bone broth for the chicken. Now I'm gonna leave the chicken overnight on high because I want it to be really shredded and kind of like cooked through with flavor. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna add the vegetables in around like eight o'clock and then add the noodles in as well. So then let it sit for another three hours so that it can really prepare. So um, these are the noodles if you guys don't remember from earlier here's the noodles that I'll be using for the actual soup in the morning but we're just gonna do the chicken and the seasoning and everything now
guys so it is early in the morning about eight o'clock so i am gonna go ahead and start preparing the rest of the stuff for the soup now i know some of you guys are looking like why the f does she have carrots on here now i'm gonna go ahead and hit you guys with this one now the bag of carrots that i have it clearly says on the bag that for five pieces of carrot i don't know if you guys can see that five pieces of carrot it should be about let's see six net carbs if you can see that total carbohydrates and then dietary fiber so for this one it should be about six net carbs or five carrots so i just took three carrots out you can't tell me you're going to make a chicken noodle soup without carrots so i'm going to fi finally chop these carrots up to make it look plentiful i have a little bit of an onion i'm going to chop up too and then i have three stalks of celery which i'm going to chop and just fill into there i'm also i also might add some broccoli but i might not i might just roast the broccoli on the side and then just add, add it on top to make it fancy because i have the roasted broccoli i had on the side last night was absolutely delicious guys salt pepper olive oil 15 minutes out of the oven 400 degrees just to let you know right now so i might do that as well because i just like to crunch the broccoli or just add into another meal so this is what we're gonna do guys these are all the ingredients and um yeah so i'm gonna chop this up come back and show you what it looks like i did separate the chicken from the water uh, from the broth just so i can see and then shred it up a little bit more to make it more like soup type so it is pretty much cooked right now i can see that you can just break it apart so i'm just gonna break it apart some more and then combine and everything together in the pot for another like hour or so and then put the actual orzo noodles in as well so guys let's go Broth-wise, it's very, very good. And I told you guys it got unsalted by accident, so I did have to add my own salt to it, which is fine. But make sure you get it salted, the chicken broth or the bone broth. The chicken's super tender. Now, let's try the noodles. Let me show you guys what the noodles look like up close so you guys can see. Hopefully, I'm out of the focus. because. So that's what the orzo noodle looks like. So for me, I would tell you guys, like I said, cook it long because uh, the noodles have... um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Recommendation. Wow, that tastes just like orzo noodles. Like like I said, cook it all the way through, guys, and make sure it cooks in the broth and it'll taste just like soup. Wow. And you guys can see I did do a lot of celery. And what I did with the carrots, I cut the carrots up very thin. I used only used three baby carrots, so I cut the carrots up very, very thin, guys. So it's all business. You have the celery cooked down. Mmm. I love my cracker this time. Wow. So this is the cracker. The thing I like about this cracker though, it soaks up some of the sauce. Not the sauce, the broth. 
Mm. Perfect for, oh my God. I'm just gonna say right now, I did this, sorry. Mm. Really, really good guys, like. I'm actually shocked. The noodles taste so close to regular noodles, it's ridiculous, like. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and say to you guys, I recommend the noodles. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to create another dish with the noodles since I saved some. So I'm gonna try to create a rice dish because the noodles, I feel like if you cook them long enough, it'll replicate just like a noodle. So I am so excited about this. So excited. All right, guys. So tonight we're doing eggplant lasagna. So obviously this is the winning uh, recipe. So I decided just to do this as the winning recipe because um, short notice tomorrow we're, um, we're going. Me and my boo boo are going away. We're going well, not away. It's a little day trip upstate New York. So I won't be home to do recipes. So I couldn't pick a second recipe. So I decided just to do the eggplant lasagna for two winners. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, now what I'm gonna do, guys, is prepare the ground turkey. I did. Uh, roast some of the eggplant because I'm going to do eggplant and I'm also going to do the Italian Outer Isles sandwich thins. I'm going to use four of these and I think like about five of the eggplant slices and kind of layer it up with the ground turkey. Now the ricotta cheese on the back of here it says a fourth of a cup is about is two net carbs so I'm going to use a full cup, uh, no, half a cup sorry, I'm going to use a half a cup uh, which is two, is uh, which is four net carbs and I'm just going to buff it up with some cheese to make it more filling and then I'm gonna use some tomato sauce just to make this a little bit uh, saucier, but I'm also gonna use the rayo sauce, which I'll show you guys as well. That's a little bit less in the carbs. This one is a fourth cup of this one is only two net carbs. So I'm gonna try to see what I'm gonna do with the sauce. And uh, yeah, so let's just get started. All right guys, before I quickly start, I did already use the organic coconut oil refined, so it has no coconut oil taste. I'm gonna use this as the fat because the turkey, ground turkey that I found, I didn't get the 85, 15%. I only found the 93, seven, so I'm gonna have to load it up with fat because it's really, really lean. And I ended up deciding just to use uh, half a cup of this instead of using the rayo sauce. I just figured that I'll just use half a cup of this instead and buff the sauce. Up. I'm also going to use a little bit of the sofrita tomato base uh, cooking base just because this gives it like a little bit of flavor in that red color just to give you that you know sauce effect so let's roll Everything that I'm going to use to make the eggplant lasagna. So I'm going to use the Outer Isles Italian uh, pizza thins. Well, not pizza thins, sandwich thins. So I think I'm going to actually use all six of them. They're only one net carb each. I'm probably just going to do the layer on top like that, like I said I was going to do. I did go ahead and roast some eggplant, so I'm going to do a layer of eggplant as well. It's very nice, tender, and it's a little, it's nice and flavored as well too. Here goes my ricotta. Um, I did put a lot of cheese in it and made it nice and buff. I'm actually gonna put some Parmesan cheese in it too just to make it a little bit more dense, but it's well seasoned as well. And this is our mozzarella and pro provolone that we're gonna use to top and fill everything. So I'm super excited. I know this is about to be good. We don't have very long time. What is your verdict? I'm the defendant guilty. The deadly narcotic. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you've got to get a hold of yourself.
like after I've done uh, three layers. Um, I didn't even use all of the ricotta, so you can basically save that. I buffed it out a lot with some of the Parmesan and the mozzarella, so um, I basically didn't have to use a lot of the ricotta. So that's great. So this is what it looks like. It's fully loaded, guys. So I'm crossing my fingers, but I really think it's going to be good. So we're going to pop it in the oven and wait about like... I think like 30 minutes and then we'll take it out let it cool and then cut and eat I thought I was filming it, but the camera was not actually catching the process, so I had to go ahead and just redo it now. But I already ate most of it. Guys, this is absolutely delicious. Um, it's really, really good. I feel like the Outer Isles um, Italian crust definitely helps the lasagna stay together. Um, I did do a layer of the eggplant, which definitely tastes good. You can't really taste it, which I like because I don't really... Sometimes when people make eggplant um, lasagna, I hate the fact that you can actually like really, really taste the eggplant and the skin and all that, so... I like the fact that I don't really taste it too much. Flavor profile-wise, it's really good. I did sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, but you guys can see it's like a stack daddy right here. Um, it's really good. It's Friday! Welcome back, guys. So, it is Friday. So, we are having... I just blocked this entire thing while I was doing it. How embarrassing. So, today we are having eggs any style. So, I'm going to do a sausage egg and cheese scramble. And then kind of like a little Greek feta and mushroom type of uh, omelet or scramble. Um, we are actually headed out today on a mini road trip. So, it's three hours there and three hours back. So, I decided to avoid fast food completely today so I wanted to do a little lunch pack um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I did I did do the wraps from the beginning of the week so there was no point in me showing that part but I did do like some snacks and stuff like that so I'll show you what the lunch pack is like we obviously will end up having to buy something like at a diner but I definitely and bring my camera so I will show you guys what I'm eating when I get to the diner I'll most likely order like a grilled chicken salad and that is that so guys, let's go ahead and make this little scramble. I am having uh, iced coffee, um, almond milk, uh, regular black coffee, and I put a little bit of the CV in it, and that's it. And i um, good to go. So let's go ahead and make this little mix. My boyfriend's going to have the sausage, egg, and cheese, and obviously I'm going to have that little Greek um, omelet because I love feta. Alrighty, guys, so here are the ingredients. I do have some bacon on the side so I can eat my omelet with it. So I'm making my boyfriend the sausage, egg, and cheese scramble, which is going to be really hearty. So I'm going to use two eggs for mine because these are the extra large uh, free range organic eggs. And for his, I'm going to use three because I want to make his like a little bit bigger because you know he likes to eat a lot. I'm just joking. So like I said, we're going to do two different things just to give options, just to give you guys more ideas for breakfast. You guys seem to like the breakfast idea, so I want to give you more options. So I hope you guys enjoy this.
you guys enjoyed the breakfast portion. It was absolutely delish. So right now I'm going to show you guys the on the road lunch pack that I decided to create because I'm trying to avoid fast food like I said before. So I'm trying to do something right. So I decided to do the same sandwiches that we had um, earlier in the week with the Quest chips. But I don't like the Quest chips so I'm not going to do that. Um, so I did do one for baby, one for me. Same thing, the sausage little turkey, the rapids five net carbs, salt, pepper, mayo, mustard, which is no net carbs, um, and the wrap. So it's a pretty low carb for a nice, pretty thick old wrap. So this is what we're taking. I also did some fried hot dogs, uh, sliced up. Because I feel like, you know, if you're hungry, instead of grabbing chips, maybe grab something like this. It's no net carbs and it's good. I'm also going to bring the sugar-free ketchup with me. I don't have a container, so I'm just going to bring the whole bottle, whatever, um, so that we can nibble on this and we kind of get like the crazy, crazy, like, hunger strike or whatever not even hunger strike when we get hungry um, I also got um, these trophy nuts so I went to the corner store and they had these the only reason why I like getting these is because it's proportioned out so this entire bag is one net carb so if you like peanuts uh, cashews they be a little bit on the higher net um, higher carb side so I usually go for peanuts so this is only one net carb so I went and got two one for me and one for babe I also got some water. We'll probably get another coffee, but I got my water to go. And then I bought one only because this is fun snack to have. I always make sure I split it with him so that therefore we get half of the net carbs because the whole bag, honestly and truly, on the uh, smart sweets, not honestly and truly. If you read the back of the labels, because I read labels, the net carbs on here is about like seven. So I split it with my boyfriend. So I gave him more. So in my head, I'm thinking like, okay, I'm only having three net carbs, if you know what I mean. So I bought this as a treat. So yeah. So that's about it guys and I'm hoping that I can get a salad. That's what I'm aiming for so I can add the vegetable component of my day from the salad. So I'm going to get something green in guys, don't worry. So that's about it. I will come and show you guys everything else during the day. Hopefully my camera doesn't die but uh, we're about to be out. Bye. All right guys, so we've landed where we need to be. So the only thing that we have left is the hot dogs and the ketchup. I did tell you guys I was bringing the sugar pea ketchup with me so I did. Um, so I'm about to just start nibbling on this. We're gonna be here for about like an hour, two hours or so, so I'm gonna have some of this. We just stopped at the gas station and got some water as well too. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and then um, we're gonna get on our way back home because I wanna get home. The only option that I see in this area right now for us to eat is Applebee's, so hopefully I can order like some wings or something and that will be our dinner for tonight, guys. So I will catch you up. And if I will catch up with you. All right, guys. So this is the ending of this video. I actually forgot to end the video on Friday. So I'm ending it now as I'm editing this video to go up. Did not realize how long a 54 minute video takes to go up. But I figured out some ways to make it easier for myself. So now you guys will get the videos on time. So it's, it's, this video should have been up on Sunday. But now it's going up on Monday as you're watching it. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But hey, it'll give you guys like a... A start for the week because it is Monday now that you're watching it so when you get home you can kind of formulate some plans for the week so hopefully you guys enjoy the recipes I enjoyed just about everything you guys might see repeats in episode 4 so sorry about that but guys I appreciate all the love and support love you guys so much and um, yeah so as far as Friday goes let me remind you guys Friday night we ended up just going to the gas station, getting some sunflower seeds and um, some peanuts. We thought we would have got home on time to eat the lasagna again, but we did not have time. We, I mean, we fell asleep. So um, we ate the lasagna Saturday, and I felt like it was bomb, even better on Saturday. So, yeah. So, guys, um, I'm done. Let me stop flapping my gums. But do not forget, guys, to thumbs up this video. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe and share this video with your friends and family, people. And I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.